Here we are. Today is day 42. And I'm sure you have followed the trend right from our first week down to today. That means that today is exactly six weeks since we began this broiler challenge between Ross 308 of the Agritech Group and the Abo Acre of the Valentine Group. Well, before we wrap up every other thing, we'll just have to take the measurements of this week to know which breed has come up in all that we have done for the past six weeks. All the same, sit back and I'll be right back. Welcome to the Broiler Challenge, our end season. Welcome to Elders Agro Services, where we educate, inform, and improve you on better ways to achieve efficient broiler performance and productivity. My name is Ebi Ambai Bita David, MD Elders Agro Services, and also an agro-based entrepreneur with keen interest in effective broiler farming. Six weeks ago, they came in as day old chicks, so small and fragile, but over the course of six weeks, today being day 42, exactly six weeks, they look bigger, bolder, and better, and fit for slaughtering through sales. If you're just watching for the first time, welcome. But you might need to pause and go back to the previous videos with the links at the end of this video to be fully informed on how we got to this point. But don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. And to our returning subscribers, true viewers, thank you once again for sticking with this channel. And be rest assured for detailed and informative videos to enhance your broiler performance and productivity. Please like the video and share to a farmer, both potential and existing, who need to know more on how to better themselves in the poultry business. Let's take the weights of this week, being their final week, and see which of the breeds between the Ross 308 of the Agritech Group and the Abo Acre of the Valentine Group. And let's know which particular breed has done the best for itself for the past six weeks. I'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back. We're going to start the measurements with uh, the Ross 308. You remember they are marked with black, so we'll take their measurements now Also before us, we have that of the Abo Acre of the Valentine Group. Let's also take their measurements as we did that of the Ross 308. Let's start. Welcome back. As you can see, we are done with the measurement of their weights and they are back to their pen resting. I think it's best we do a little summary or feedback. Uh, I also hope uh, you have viewed our medication chart as we had showed them as the video progressed as displayed on the screen. I would want to share my experience on this particular challenge so that it could seem like uh, a feedback or a summary is what i call uh, my challenges or cautionary points to be considered first on the list is being observant 
In fact, I might even take it as being over-observant, and that was because I had two breeds which were reared together from start to finish. So I had to check differences in their pool in order to know what was best to be done in order for them to reach this stage. The second is more or less like an advice. If it is not for experimental purposes, it is not advised to have beds of different breeds in the same house. That's why I said, except for experiment. But I did that together because I wanted to put them under the same condition. And yes, luckily, they had come out well, but it also took uh, a toll on me because I had to be extra observant on everything that was going on. So putting all the beds in one pen is not advisable. The, second, the third one and most important is biosecurity. For the mere fact that I had two breeds being reared together, it was important that I should have made sure at top notch that my biosecurity was not something I could compromise at all. I ensured all security measures were put in place and all were observed and followed. Uniform growth was also something I needed to work on. As you can see, by the time we get to see the scores or the summary of the different weeks, which are also displayed on the screen, you would also see how close the Abel Acre was also reaching up in order to meet up with that of the Agritech of the Ross 308. You saw uniform growth was gotten based on the fact that I was able to be more observant to view them and to know their eating habits and in order to meet all issues for it to be addressed. Last but not the least was drug acceptability. Before bringing all of them together, I had to go through all drugs in order to ensure that the drugs would be acceptable by both breeds. Uh, I know that definitely there are some drugs which are good for a particular breed, and there are some that are not good for a particular breed. But I had to look for the acceptable ones in which I have displayed it on the screen. And even going by organic, organic all beds are good by it. So we've been able to look at those few points, and then it's best we swiftly move straight to the weights that we have measured. I hope uh, you've been able to learn one or two and through our medication charts, and please don't forget to subscribe. So let's go straight to uh, the weights that we have done, and then we'll wrap up the broiler challenge. I'll be right back. Now back to the score line, we can see here, this is day 42, week 6. And so we are going to start running it through. You can see Ross 308 of the Agritech group as against the Abel Acre of the Valentine group. So you can see their weights from the number 1 to number 12. And you can see the differences between their weights. Very close. 3,300 all over 300 as against 3,000. 3-2 as against 3,000, 3-6 against 3-2, 2-9, and down till we got to the 12th bed that was weighed. Total weight for Agritech Ross 308, we had 37,900 kg, while that of Abel Acre, we had 35,400. Now, if you look at it, we divide it by 12 to get the average weight. When we come down to it, we can see that Agritech, which produces Ross 308, having got a total weight of 37,900 kilograms all over 12, gave them 3,158.33, which approximated gives us 3.2 kg. Why Valentine, that produces the Abo Acre, that had a total weight of 35,400 divided by 12, gave, them, gave us 2,950 kg, which gives us approximately 2.9, which, if you further want to go, which I think should be the best, and I should be able to use my hand to give them that point. This is 3 kg. Yes, they have gotten 3 kg. So you can see the difference between the, the Ross 308 and the Abo Acre in this particular challenge is just 200 grams. Well, thank you for always tuning in every time the week review came up. We are grateful to you. And from Elders Agro Services, we want to tell you, thank you, God bless. Don't forget, our next videos that are coming will be on our organic poultry farming. Please keep a date with us. And also, if you are a farmer in Nigeria, there's a video coming up as regards how to still break even 
even in this jackpot season or sackpot season as the case may be. Bye.